The Barrens, a land engulfed by scolding temperatures, dry grass, and dangerous predators. What creature would ever consider this land as a home? Hello, I am Morgan Freeman, and today I am here to talk to you about the Plain Strider. Such elegant creatures with their rounded dull beak, squinty eyes, balding hair, and short stubby wings. Although the plain strider is a bird, he cannot fly, for he is too fat. Some would say they are ugly, others might say they are vicious, but those people are ignorant. Ignorant, indeed. Many years ago, plain striders used to subside in Mulgore, and although some still do, the majority have been forced into the barrens. This is now known as the March of the Plain Striders. When the Taran built Thunderbluff, Plain Striders' homes were destroyed. They had nowhere to go, and the only way they could go was east. Plain Striders were not used to moving. They were raised to stand in their 10 by 10 foot square area, only exiting short distances if attacked by a predator. All they ever knew was this small patch of grass they stood by. Like a flower, like a flower. So when the majority of land was taken by the Taran, Plain Striders had to find a new home. They gathered their young and set out into the wilderness, stretching their comfort zones and partaking on an adventure. They lived on the various herbs in Mulgore that were quite scarce in the barrens. Even when an herb was found, it was usually taken away by a nearby herbalist. A hunter from Crossroads approaches. Attempting to get to Camp Tarajo for additional quests, the hunter attacks, remembering his quest for Plain Strider beaks. Some Plain Striders get away, but one unlucky Plain Strider has been slain. He didn't drop a beak? That's stupid! He has a beak, he should drop one! That quest is stupid! What a shame. The elegant bird has been killed for a simple task. When will people learn? Let us ask Baron's chat to find out. This movie's boring, it's too emotional, and I like movies with explosions and funny stuff. Hey, didn't he do this already? He's running out of material, he already did the Baron's chat thing, this is stupid! After weeks of traveling, the plane stride is settled by the crossroads, having a close relationship with the oasis nearby, supplying them with fresh water. Such joy, such relief. The journey is finally over. Finally I get the beak? Stupid quest! Sadly, the plane striders are closer to danger than they've ever been. But is that not just the cycle of life? Behold, we are witnessing it happen before our eyes. What a beautiful sight. A new plane strider has spawned, taking over the previous one's 10 by 10 foot square area. Scientists are still confused and amazed at the spawning process of Warcraft creatures. We might never know how it happens, but one thing is for sure. That I don't really like plain striders. The only reason they did this movie is because they're a bird that begins with the letter P, so it's a parody of March of the Penguins. But they paid me 10,000 gold, so all is well. All is well. <laughs>